Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and I'm back with another episode of If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device, Special 1, Kitten and Emps Plays a Children's Card Game. Sorry I sound like shit, my allergies are really acting up today. That's why I sound like shit, and my eyes are extremely itchy right now. So that just explains why I sound so terrible. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I finished episode 20 last week which I guess was uh, the end of the season. And I was told I should not skip any of the specials or shorts or anything like that. So I'm just going right down the playlist that that was set by Bruva Alphabusa. So after episode 20 was or is this episode right here. So I'm just going to go right down the playlist so yeah let's uh let's check it out and of course the video is by Bruva Alphabusa all right here we go I cannot believe you still have not turned off Yulamina's life support well I will eventually my lord I am tired of all your eventualities you must do it it is important. Like, what is it with the no love for the Ultramarines and Gilliman? No. I will not. Are you defying me? Yes, in this particular instance, I am. Then I have no choice. One does not I simply defy you. the Emperor. Play a game of Paradox, Billiards, Mouse, Troy, and Roulette, Fourth Dimensional, Hypercube, Chess, Strip, Poker. I am scared. If you win, <laughs> I will let it slide. I'm scared. Now. But if I win, I will banish you to the realm of Ultramar until you have completed this mission. But... I don't even know how to play Paradox Billets, Hyperbole, Ships Poker... I will have a tech priest give you the knowledge instantly with the power of science. There we go. Now you will be fit with the proper gear as well. What is this and why is it necessary? Already no science. Quiet. Your deck has already been assembled based upon moral activity in your cerebrum, as well as total type casting. Deck? What? What is this even? I just had all game rules implanted directly into your mind. You already know fucking everything, so stop thinking and let us play. Remember the stakes. Oh my, my, my. If Kitten loses this duel, which no doubt will happen. He will be sent away to Ultramar for a long time. Finally, the charge will be waiting. <laughs> Actually, I am banishing you two. <laughs> whoop whoop. Sorry, what? This is now an Ultra game. Yeah, you're gonna banish too. Holy terror. Wrong. What happened to all the gold? There was a stupid gun. If you lose this Ultra game, and your friends will all be banished to the Ultramar realm. My lord, perhaps you're thinking this a tad bit too far. Kitten! You are our only hope! Please win! If you win, we won't show your life for the time. Nobody wants to go to Ultramar. Try. No promises are made. Fine, I'll try to play, I guess. As long as you look away when the old strip part of this comes to play. No promises are made! All right, son. Yo, start things off. Draw your five cards. Okay, here goes. You know, I am looking at these cards right now, and... My lord, I don't think this is neither billiard, chess, hypercube, strip poker, Australian roulette, nor a combination of the five. <coughs> this is just a children's card game. By the Milky Way's memories, I will shoot you out of a fucking cannon, <coughs> unless you start playing. I'm sorry, my lord, I'll just continue. I Go fish. I easy defense. This creepy bug man man murderer will do the trick. Man eater bug. I'll place this face down and end my turn. You have already lost. It is like you do not know who you are playing with. My turn. The effect of my golden ladybug activates, giving me 500 extra life points. The whatever is already the thief. They have barely begun to say. How is it ever going to be now? Ivan activates my gas spot and sanguine is charred, allowing me to draw five new cards in total. However, due to the charity, I have to discard two of the cards I have into the warp, and my chosen sacrifices shall be the golden ladybug, and the shitty chaos looking brother fuck. <laughs> Fortunately, throwing him in the grave war gives me an extra card, so it is six new ones in total. Damn! Oh boy, 
I'm sorry, but isn't that super cheap? I mean, why wouldn't you have those cards in your deck? There's no reason not to. I am the Emperor and was destined to wield the very best cards humanity has ever created. It's not wrong. Maybe is not exactly merciful in the warp sunshine. And speaking of which, I now activate Obedient School. This allows me to bring forth three different beasts from my deck and summon them to this realm. I choose a Happy Snake, Abomination Dawn, and Horse Bird. They are all attack, attack, a thousand attack, one hundred attack. Tasteful in choice of attire compared to the three strippy tears over there. By our blessed biceps! Our glorious overlord has three servants out on the field already! And the poor Yashling of the life points! How is he ever going to it now? That is certainly bad news for me. My turn? Did I say I was done? <laughs> Baby boy, let me tell you I am far from done serving this gold-plated shit explosion sandwich. I Did I say I was crazy. done? I sacrifice all three of my beasts. So I can summon a much greater servant. It, it's so bright! Are all the messages true? Is boy ever really summoning it? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Behold. Make an ultra sickening. The legends were true! It's even goldier than I'd imagined. Oh, like Mega oh, ultra chicken. That looks more like a dragon than it is a chicken to be fair. My chicken's effect allows me to pay all but 100 of my point lives to increase its attack to ludicrous amounts. 8400 attack points? Who? Who will never you know? We can't give up our faith in kitten yet. I mean, our glorious overlord only has 100 life points left now. You can do it, kitten! Just believe in the heart of the cards! Cards don't need to circulate blood. The heart is but one muscle you must oh, Yes, but is the Emperor done? The pigs and the fur, but it's all too integral part of the card. You must put your baby. Still not done though. See? <laughs> I now set a card. Then to activate the Temple of the Kings. Since I am technically a king, I am allowed access to the activation of trap cards the turn I have set them. So now I activate the card DNA surgery. Now, through the power of science, my mega ultra chicken is experimented on as my great Astartes children are so he can attain a new form. Uh -oh. Welcome your glorious golden subjugator, the Wind Warrior of Terra. Oh, he's no longer a dragon. Or a chicken. Whatever. But he seems exactly the same to me in all other accounts. That is, because I am not done yet. <laughs> I now bring upon him the noble arms of destiny. Since he is now a warrior with hands and a brain larger than a walnut, he is allowed to carry weapons legally, especially marvelous weapons such as these, that deny all which is that try to surpass us. That is to say, it makes him indestructible. Oh, that's nasty. That means kids and can't possibly hope to destroy it. Oh, good trooper. And now, no. for the final touch, by throwing away a useless card, I also equip my warrior with the Twin Swords of Flashing Light. It reduces his ludicrous attack strength by 500, but now, he is allowed to attack two times in a fucking rope. <coughs> 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 two times in a row? That means... <coughs> Now, warrior, annihilate his face down and turn him down face. Ah, my spleen! <laughs> my spleen! Okay, my Ooh. Emperor. Are you done now? Nope. <laughs> my warrior may be as glamorous as a golden sun filled with glitter, but I feel this realm is not golden enough, so it is time to terraform it. With this, I am allowed to take a field spell from my deck. We heard you like gold, so we golden now, your golden I your golden your gold. I turn this realm into an iridescent golden palace with the golden castle of Stromberg. I have never seen such radiant beauty outside my mirror before. Your mirror being my lubricated abs, of course. Okay, so what now? My turn? This castle forces you to summon and attack with a monster every time you enter your battle phases. And each monster that tries to attack is automatically destroyed, and half of its attack points are drawn from your life. However, <coughs> this card does have a maintenance fee, as uh -huh. half a deck of cards has to be thrown into the graveyard every turn for it to stay active. Ooh. Fortunately, it is your deck, 
That stands for the costs. Seriously, what kind of cheap card is that? You can't have a game with a card that overpowered in it. Only I have one, can. so it is fair. Does anyone even play this game except you? Cinch does. Cinch is a giant nerd now, isn't he? Shut up and make your move. I need Yo to get to Ultra Mar now <laughs> before the dishes stack up too tightly. This is really bad. If he is forced to attack, he will lose automatically. The only way he loses is by somehow destroying that caution. Foam also, the castle is indestructible. <laughs> And even if he did destroy the castle, my warrior would still super murder anything he has. There is no hope. Now draw your last pathetic card so I can end this pin on it. Well, okay, I guess. Oh shit, there goes half my deck. <laughs> Good. It is time. Um, my lord, you did say your castle was indestructible, right? Nothing to destroy it? Whatever measly attempt Mo throw at it will not even scratch it. I guess in that case, I'll play this. Giant True Maid. All spells and traps go back to people's hands. No destructions here. What the fuck? And, uh... I summon Wind Up Kitten. And then I use its own effect so your monster goes back to your hand. W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-W-A-
Eat up. Okay, I'm going to stop here since this is episode 21. Okay. I'll do uh, episode 21 uh, another time since that's a full new episode. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Kitten and Imps plays Yu-Gi-Oh. That, uh, <laughs> that was pretty damn good. The Emperor and all of his moves and stuff like that. Discard this, add this, and this, and this, and this. Is it my turn? No, I'm not done. And then this, and this, and this, and then little kitten. Ha! Huh. I send that back to your hand. Ha! Huh. I send that back to your hand. Wind up kitten attack. <laughs> oh, that was pretty damn good. That was pretty good. But what's the deal? No love for uh, the Ultramarines, Ultramar, Gilliman. No love for any of them. Poor Ultramarines. Sucks to be them. <laughs> oh, and then the Lucia stuff. That was um, pretty disturbing. You know, was that second part there with the, the sandwich supposed to like spoof like Mr. Beast or something like that? You know. Hey, stranger, here's, like, a sandwich and doing good for you and stuff like that. I don't know. Either way, it was funny. Uh, but, yeah, now we see why you guys don't want me to skip um, uh, those shorts or specials or those little mini mini episodes or mini clips, whatever you want to call them. So I see why they are pretty damn funny. So, uh, yeah, there we go. And then uh, the next one is obviously going to be episode 21, Still Alive. Hmm. Looks like it will be uh, pretty interesting. Oh, looks like the Inquisition's still there. Inquisition's back. Ultramarines. Looks like it looks promising, so I can't wait. All right, so um, yeah. Anyways, there we go. There is uh, that short one. Kitten and Imps plays a child's card game, and then Lucius uh, pranks. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And other than that, uh, you know, definitely stick around. More videos are on the way. You know, like I said, I still got more episodes of this to do. I do want to do more, um, what was it, Baldur's Guide to Warhammer, because I do like those videos. Uh, if you guys have any certain video of his you want me to check out, let me know. You know, since I have been doing a lot of Dark Angels ones, if there's anything else uh, you want me to check out first, you know, let me know. I don't know if there's like uh, Black Templars, or Blood Angels, or Guard, or whatever you guys want me to check out first. Let me know. So anyways, other than that, just stick around. More videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.